Dear students, hope you are well. By the grace of Almighty Allah, welcome to NIBS Home School. This is Muhammad Imdadul Haq, Assistant Teacher of Mathematics, National Ideal English Version School, Deshe. Dear students, today I am going to conduct a higher mathematics class of class 9. Our today's topic is exercise 2, question 9. It means that in our today's class, we will solve problem 9 from exercise 2. Dear students, let us see what is problem 9. In exercise 2, problem 9 is if x equal to b plus c minus a, y equal to c plus a minus b and z equal to a plus b minus c, then show that x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz equal to 4 into a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc. Okay, dear students, so when a value of x, y and z are given, then we need to show x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x, y, z equal to 4 into a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a, b, c. Okay, dear students, to solve the question, at first we can write the given information. So, we can write here given what is given here value of x is given that is b plus c minus a value of y is given that is a plus uh, sorry c plus a minus b c plus a minus b and value of z is also given that is a plus b minus c okay dear students so <coughs> We can see here what should we need to show. We need to show x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz equal to 4 into a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc. As we need to show this, we can so we can write here left hand side. Left hand side is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. Dear students. <coughs> We know two formula. One is a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc is equal to a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca. And another one we know a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc is equal to half into a plus b plus c into a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square. Dear students, if we apply any formula from these two here, we will show, we can show the right side, but if we apply the second formula, it will be easier for us. Applying any formula we can show, but it will be easier if we apply the second formula. So I will apply the second formula, calculation will be easier. So, apply the second formula here there is uh, formula of a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 abc so we can write here half into x plus y plus z into x minus y whole square plus y minus z whole square plus z minus x whole square as we have applied the second formula. So now we can put the value of x, y and z as the value of x, y, z are given. So we can write here half into put the value of x, y and z here value of x is b plus c minus a. So we can write here b plus c minus a plus value of y is c plus a minus b value of z is 
a plus b minus c now in this part we need to put the value of x y z so if we put value of x is b plus c minus a that is b plus c minus a then minus then we need to take minus as we are taking minus so sign of the uh, terms of y will be changed c plus a minus b this will be minus c minus a plus b so we can write here whole square then plus here is the plus we are giving the plus then y minus z so write y at first y is c plus a c plus a minus b then minus z so value of z here the sign of the terms of z will be changed this will be minus a minus b plus c so minus a minus b plus c plus this is here is whole square so we have to give the whole square plus next term that is z minus x whole square so put the value of z what is z here z is a plus b minus c so minus x so value of x is here b plus c minus a so the terms of this uh, value of x will be changed here this will be minus b minus c plus a whole square so i have put the value of x y and z now this total expression is converted into variables a b and c now we can calculate here we can write here half if we calculate what will we get here a negative a positive a positive so we can write here only a will left this minus a plus a vanish each other a left then b positive b negative this to vanish so b positively will remain here plus c c positive c positive here is c negative so this c will vanish each other only once you will remain here so from this we can write a plus b plus c calculating now we can write the next part here if we calculate here what will we get b is positive b is positive so we can write here 2b then c is positive c is negative so so these two vanish each other here a is negative a is negative so we can write minus 2a whole square is given i am giving the whole square now plus next part here c positive c positive so we can write here 2c minus a positive a negative vanish each other so minus b minus b means minus 2b here is whole square here is whole square plus next part here is a positive a positive so we can write here 2a b positive b negative vanish each other so minus to c in minus c it means minus to c whole square so now we can take two common from this part this part and this part so if we take two a plus b plus c we can take two as common if we take two as common uh, when it will be outside of the square it will be four it will be four it means 4 into b minus a whole square plus so here will be also same 4 into c minus b c minus b whole square plus 4 into a minus c whole square so we can take 4 common from this total expression if we take 4 as common this will be half into 4 into a plus b plus c now what will remain here here will remain b minus a whole square plus c minus b whole square plus a minus c whole square now we can apply the formula of whole square inside this expression so we will get here this 2 and 4 we can cut here we will get 2 2 1 is 2 so we can write 2 into a plus b plus c now what is remaining here right here 
we can write here now applying the formula of whole square we will get here b square minus 2ab plus a square again here for this term we will get c square minus 2bc plus b square plus again this term a minus c whole square means a square minus 2ca plus c square so we will get now if we calculate this will be finished now c 2 into a plus b plus c into we can write here how many a square here a square one a square another a square where is a square not c square sorry this one is a square not c square a square so here is a square here is here is a so a square and a square will be two a square plus b square and b square will be 2 b square plus c square and c square will be 2 c square now minus 2 a b minus 2 a b minus 2 b c minus 2 b c minus 2 c a minus 2 c a remaining ok dear students so I can take 2 common from all the terms so we will get here 2 into 2 again a plus b plus c into we can write here a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus c a so now we can write product of 2 and 2 is 4 and here is a plus b plus c a plus b plus c into Dear students, no need to write a plus b plus c here again. Now, if you notice the formula, if you notice the formula one, first one, here a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus c a. So, here observe that a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus c a. So, uh, for this we can apply the formula here that is a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c ok dear students so now check the right hand side yes 4 into a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c here is also 4 into a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c it means this is our right hand side so we can say left hand side is equal to right hand side therefore left hand side is equal to right hand side right hand side it means this is showed the students I hope you have understood our today's uh, class and you will follow our today's class to do your homework here is homework given this is your homework 27 CW to HW it means uh, which question I have solved in our today's class you will do this one as your homework and you will submit your homework timely okay dear students so keep practicing at home abide by your parents stay home stay safe see you again till then assalamu alaikum